Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and today we're talking about WordPress 5.0's editor, which is also known as Gutenberg. And the problem we're having is how to make videos full width, or at least full to the frame that they're in. So let's get to it. So this is just our website, pressavenue.com, and we're actually working on the final videos for our new course, which is securing WordPress with, with HTTPS or using an SSL certificate. Um, and what we have done is, to move over here, this is the course page itself for the, one of the overviews. And if you look here, we have a pretty wide um, area to work with, but the video we embedded sticks here in the corner. Now if I go to edit it with the WordPress editor, no matter what I set it to, it actually doesn't fill the whole frame. And I'll show you what I mean. So here we, here's our little intro. The embed here is a Vimeo video, but it can actually be anything. Oh, not anything, a lot of things. So Vimeo, YouTube, I have a list here of embeds. Blip, CloudUp, College Humor, Facebook, Instagram, meetup.com, Reddit, PolDaddy, TED, etc. So if you took a TED video, as of 4.0, you can paste in the link into Gutenberg and it pulls up a special O-embed box. So I'll put this list in the blog post below. But if I go back to my lesson here, I have what is SSL? And if I click here, whoops, if I go to the pencil, this is my video. So how I added this block is I went to plus, the mayo, and there it is. See that? And then I paste in the link and I hit embed. So there it is, and I'll click embed here. So if you look, Right now, we have a justification of, or sorry, it's center justified. I can do it left, I can do it right. I can do a wide width, which looks great on this backend editor. And I'll actually leave that one the same. But if I go to update, give it a second, more than that, and I view the lesson, you'll see what I mean. So here we are, this was, top one was set to have a full width and it's very much does not come over here to the right. And this bottom one was just set to a center alignment or justification. So that's what I'm talking about. So if you run into this full width video issue or any embed, we'll show you how to fix this. The last thing I'll show you is, well, we'll just make it as wide as the screen. So if I click this video and I go over this one, which is full width. So on the editor, I'm having edge to edge, no padding, no margin, and I click update. Just give it a second to update. Go to view lesson. Again, the editor is supposed to solve all these problems and it just creates them. So it's not quite working. If it does work for you, your theme has a special tag that we're gonna add into the functions right now. But if it doesn't, this is how you fix it. So I'll leave this right here and I'll come back to our site on the back end. So I'm just gonna go to dashboard. And then I'm gonna to go to appearance. So we're using the Beaver Builder child theme. Um, this can be applied to Astra uh, 2019 or anything else that you wanna use. And we're actually gonna to go to the theme editor. Now we do get a warning because this is considered cowboy coding. Oh, it should give you a warning. I've already turned it off. Um, if you mess up anything in here, you will take down your site. So the other way of doing this is to log in through FTP, go to um, the theme folder itself, and go to functions.php. Um, and it'll essentially bring you to this. So in Beaver Builder, there are not a lot of functions. If you're used to Genesis theme framework, um, there are a ton. But in Beaver Builder, there are not very many. So we're gonna create a, so enter down, I'm gonna create a comment, and I'm gonna say, responsive videos or O embeds, O embeds. All right, and then I'm gonna enter down a line 14. It can be any line, whatever you got. And then under the developer.wordpress.org, there's a responsive embed content theme support um, little snippet here that I can add in. All right, I'll just highlight this and copy it. Go back to that line 14 and paste. Um, occasionally when you enter down, 
um, it adds the two lines. So if I added that and you pasted, you'll see it in this kind of gold brown color. You just need to remove these. I have it doubled up, but just to show you, WordPress does add those additional lines. So you wanna make sure it's exactly how it is over here on theme support. Again, this is called cowboy coding. I'm editing the code. If I take out some of this stuff, it'll completely break and take down the site. So that's my warning to you. Um, I will do a video on how to FTP in, as that's been asked a couple times. Anyway, add theme support, responsive embeds. That's what we want. We'll go ahead and hit update. Now, if you have any kind of caching, WP Rocket, WP Fastest Cache, I mean, there's a hundred of them. Make sure you clear your cache. So I have WP Engine, and they have a cache thing here. If I open it a new window, it doesn't have to reload everything. So I wait for this to spin and I'm done. Now when I go back to here, if you remember the top video, I set to full width and the bottom video was just regular. If I refresh this page, now I have an edge to edge video, just like it shows in Gutenberg. Now there are white margins on the side of this and it's because I'm viewing it on a 4K monitor and it's absolutely huge but I did just want it from the edge to the edge with this margin here, um, as opposed to, I guess they're all edge to edge now. Oh, it fixes all of them right away, so I don't have to do anything else. So now if I go back to the lesson, it could be a page, a post, this is just a post type. You know, it doesn't need to be lesson, but this happens to be learn dash. Um, and if I look here, just adding that responsive tweaks all the videos. So this one here is set to full width. And this one was set to regular, but they were both matching. So I'll just remove that block. They're both matching the width that they were showing. Lastly, we'll let it save. It always takes way too long. It pains me how long it takes. Now I go to view lesson. And then there it is. That's exactly what I wanted. It's responsive and it just works. What's nice about adding this snippet too is kind of touched on it. If you have a hundred videos, Going through it with a separate plugin is a pain because you've got to dig back in time. Adding this little snippet and hitting go fixes them across the board and saves you a ton of time. All right, so last thing I'll say is if this was helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up and click that red subscribe button. Additionally, if you have questions about this or if anything was confusing or you need more clarification, please ask in the comments below. Additionally, we have a Facebook group, which is facebook.com slash groups slash press avenue where you can ask questions about different uh, tutorials plugins themes recommendations etc we also throw in news that's uh, relevant to um, you know users of the group or ourselves or wordpress as a whole it's like site grounds dumping cpanel that might be relevant to you and then other tutorials that were requested and then lastly we do have a course coming up on securing uh, your WordPress website with HTTPS. That's where we fell into this issue. Uh, if you want more information on that, go to pressavenue.com to sign up for early bird deals and coupons. Thanks again for watching.